And hello and thanks for coming back for another unscripted video. Bill here at Home DVD. Um, this time around what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, Telesyn methods, one of which is called frame by frame. And we'll just have a little uh, discussion on how it works, brief overview, and you can get an idea of what it's all about. So in order to describe it, we do need to go and mock up a system. This is a projector. Take up reel. Source reel. A lens system for a camera or a sensor. The film would come down through the gate, be fed along, and up through the source reel. In the back would be a well diffused backlight. And basically that's the structure. Let's just put it on some solid footing here. And what we need is a computer. Why? Because we've got to handle a lot of data quickly. Particularly if it's HD data. So if this is a camera that's supported HD, this would be HDMI. If it's an SD camera, could be FireWire, could be Composite, could be S-Video. And out of the projector is a control trigger line. And so the methodology is this. As the film is running through this pathway here, there will be a point in time where the film is rock solid. That's where the claw has come through, pulled the film through into position, is registered, and waiting to be snapped. So you can understand that time for this is not real time. It's going reasonably slow in order to make those events happen in, uh, in a reliable fashion. When the film is in this position, there will be a trigger pulse originated and it will instruct the computer to grab a film frame and stuff it onto a hard drive. You can imagine the amount of data and the speed, so this is all uh, high performance type gear that you're going to need. So the net result would be if you just looked at the images by themselves, we're just going to characteristically uh, present the image frames, and these are all chronological snaps of the film frames. And it will go on ad infinitum based on the number of film frames that's on the reel. So this would be time. And these would be typically 4-3 type aspect. Whether it's HD or SD, it doesn't matter. It's just the resolution is going to be different. And maybe the file type might be different. For HD, capturing uncompressed film frames you know, you might capture them at 1080 type resolution or 720, and you might capture them in uncompressed bit form or formats like bitmap, TIFF, and the like. There's a bunch. If they're SD film frames, they'll be uh, captured at 480p, and um, they could also be uncompressed. The higher the resolution and the and the um, data representing that's that you're capturing is not lost, the better. Source material has to be of prime quality and condition. Now in the end, however, we got to take all these film frames and we got to stuff them into a video sequence. And there are containers like AVI and QuickTime, which are classic containers, which will allow us to take each of these individual film frames and create a video stream of n length. It could be any kind of length. But there are restrictions with respect to how the um, film frames are inserted and what the time base is for each of these film frames. Even though, for example, if this was Super 8 film, uh, we know it runs at 18 frames per second. And then, then each one of these films, uh, each one of these frames rather, are 1 18th of a second long if we attached a unit to it.
but right now they are timeless. There is no units to these independent film frames. And this is where the video comes in. It will establish a timeline and a base and uh, then we can start manipulating it and getting proper uh, speed and smoothness out of the video. And that will come out on another video we'll have uh, called um, pull down. I call it more or less frame stuffing because these are all complete frames that are progressively constructed and it's a faster cleaner way of doing it but essentially what we do is we take these film frames like one two and three and so on and we stuff them into a video stream and now we can take them into Premiere or um, Final Cut Sony Vegas whatever and start working with these film frames so that's the concept of film uh, frame by frame uh, the machine here could be a projector it could be a uh, one of these rank systems it could be a flash scan base uh, they all work on the same principle some are better than others in terms of stability and the like but uh, as far as the imaging systems go they're virtually all the same I've done some studies on them and uh, looked at the video qualities of the various Telesyn methods whether it's HD or SD and there's no remarkable difference SD there is but HD there is very little anyway this is a video on frame by frame and uh, we'll catch you later on the next video but there will be one coming up about uh, pull down and making the uh, the frames that have been captured run uh, smooth as glass catch you on the next video